It's interesting. I mean, there's, a, there's an update on the Portugal resident website posted yesterday by our journalist Natasha Dobb, and she's yep. put together a, a really good, um, um, really summary of the of the current situation. And uh, Marcelo cast his vote um, uh, yesterday, and um, you know he's basically urging the population to to get out and vote. Obviously, we always have massive abstention in Portugal, right. um, and. Um, uh, Something like you say here, sixty percent of the Portuguese in one of the latest surveys don't trust Parliament at all. So, right. you know, how, how many people are actually going to vote? That's uh, but the, the the pundits, the surveys are going now towards the AD Alliance, so the centre right alliance with PSD. Oh. Um, uh, but yeah, we do, we can see what happened last time. PSD got more votes than uh, the, than PS uh, managed to pull it out of the bag, didn't they? So, yeah. Um, we, we have no know but I think the big news still is Shager, the you know, the the hard right um, Shager. If yeah. they if they get the twenty percent that the um, that the surveys are um, saying that they could, um, so you know we've got undecided voters of between seventeen and twenty percent of the population at the moment. Okay, All and right. you know a lot of those people could sway towards Shager if they vote. Um, if they vote, that's the thing, isn't it? Is if they vote, they vote yeah, and um, and then and then we you know, we're very likely going to see uh, the the AD Alliance needing an agreement with Shega, which which they've said they won't do. But we know we all know that politicians lie. Don't we? <laughs> uh, we yeah, we definitely won't do that. And then come the morning after the election, well, we might you know in order for us to deliver our our aims and intentions as we put to you before the election, we might have to form some sort of coalition. Now, this can be a little bit of a worry. And it does it does connect, I think, with with Douglas's uh, comments here. Um, the the difference, the trend is is. I don't think the trend is great for Portuguese people. So let's, if we could tackle these two things, um, if inward migration could be very good for Portuguese people, I would say, if handled in the right way. Uh, would uh, you agree? I, I, I totally agree, yeah. yeah. Um, we, I mean, where would the UK be without inward migration? Yeah. Um, and and most of these inward, um, this inward migration, that's, for example, that's coming from, from the US, from the UK, from northern European countries, it's good for the country. These people aren't buying the same kind of properties that, uh, that your average Portuguese person wants to buy. Um, right. The only reason we've got a lack of housing is because the government um, don't don't allow enough houses to be built. Yes. You know, I mentioned the last time I was on here that um, we, um, it was 15 years ago there were 80,000 houses a year being built in Portugal. Now it's around 15,000. Yeah. Um, yeah, so why, 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 why is property so expensive? Why haven't we got any houses? Because they don't build enough of the bloody things. It's, yeah. it's, it's, quite, it's quite simple. That's right, and and the, the immigrant can be a very a very a convenient political device to be blamed. Um, you just you sort of lay that um, sort yeah. of rumor in the atmosphere, and yeah. you know, and understandably, the native people think, yes, yeah, the foreigners coming over here, and and the politicians then just sort of step back into the shadows and say, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right, rather yeah. than building any more houses or or, or taking it on constructively. Because yeah. there's, I mean, there isn't going to be any stopping this, is there? Let's face it. So we should do it in the right way, rather than just stall and not do anything about it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there you go. Um, and and just before you go, Shager, um, this is this is this was some Shager, and I haven't got anything in in terms of political balance here. This is the only p uh, campaigning I saw last weekend, and it might put Shager into a little bit of a perspective for people. This is them campaigning in my town last Sunday. <laughs> Not a jackboot in sight, um, just a, a, a van playing disco music, waving at all yeah. the foreigners <laughs> in San Martino, yeah. funnily enough. No, no, I mean, yeah, they, they, they want to privatise the um, the SNS, National Health, as you know. They're, 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 they're anti-multiculturalism. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit like, if we look at the UK, it's a bit like UKIP, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is. What they were, it's the and um, you know, it's popularist. It's um, yeah, uh, a lot of people like it. And, and I think as well, it's it's when people don't feel heard, they tend to lean to the extreme. We also see this pattern, don't we, across Europe and around the yeah. world, where, where yeah, people yeah, yeah. don't feel represented by the perhaps uh, conceited and bloated and arrogant uh, standing yeah. parties. They tend to go to these uh, parties that make wild claims of the of the kind uh, you you were just saying there, sort of laying out their mm. manifesto in a way. Yeah. However, yeah. people don't need to worry too much, do they, Bruce? That they are they possibly um, could pick up some uh, marginal votes, but that will be diluted. 
in the mix, won't it, here in Portuguese? Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, if, if they get the 20%, obviously, I think that's going to end up being very good for the for the AD alliance. Yeah. Um, well, good and bad, because obviously they're going to have to give them, <laughs> give them a bit more... Uh, uh, a bit more weight in in, in Parliament, but um, but uh, yeah, uh, honestly, my, my uh, general opinion is in the past between the, the, the sort of the PS and the PSD, there's, there's there hasn't been much difference, is there? It's uh, it mm. doesn't really. It's not like sort of Labour and Conservative in the U, in the UK or or the Democrats and Republicans in the US. They're they're normally so close together. I personally think that the PS have moved a bit more to the left. And um, and the AD alliance is moving a bit more to the right. That's that's yeah. my perspective on it. Yes. Um, well, it'll be so an interesting you... weekend. And I think um, it's a Sunday, which is unusual. If you're from the US or UK, we don't usually have elections on a Sunday. And the mm. polls close quite early, don't they? So when will, when pe will people know the, the results? When will that start filtering in, Bruce? I, Natasha's going to be busy, isn't she, on Sunday? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, this probably, it's probably going to start coming out Sunday night. I'm okay. actually off to the I'm, I'm off to the UK again. I'm, I'm, I'm traveling on Thursday. We come back on Saturday, and then we're so we'll be straight in there on Sunday morning casting our vote. So. Excellent.